morning, everyone, from Lake Como, specifically Fajero Lario. I think that's how you pronounce at least the Lario part. But <laughs> actually, so we were in the city and we were trying to describe where we were. And we were saying it's Fajero, and they're like, ah, Fajero. And they just started laughing, like, ah, Italian. <laughs> but this trip has been wonderful. I haven't really filmed at all. And a big part of that is because I didn't have a memory card. And then I got this memory card, and it isn't that compatible my camera so i'm shooting at like a lower video setting video quality setting but that's okay i honestly didn't want to film too much anyways during this trip because i wanted to just enjoy it for ourselves and honestly most of the time when i do like travel videos one they don't do they don't perform that well but then also i really have no idea how to integrate them into my typical youtube videos but i figured i'd film some i don't know the name of this coffee machine but every time we're in europe and staying at an airbnb they have this specific machine and when we watch youtubers who are in europe or content creators and they're making coffee they typically have this machine so what i like about it is it's obviously really simple to use like an espresso machine but it actually looks way more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. I think maybe it's just a combination of like the mixture of black and like stainless steel for the design and that it's a lot smaller than our Nespresso machine. I'm gonna miss this view so much. It's our last day, last full day here. We leave tomorrow around like 10 a.m. and we're gonna spend some time in Milan before our flight, which is in like the late afternoon. So I'm really glad how it lined up. We were able to spend a good amount of time here in Lake Como, I, like four, four days, five, four nights, five days, which I think is really plenty of time. I'm the captain now! <laughs> So Chef Denile is here and we actually just helped another couple get to their Airbnb that was about almost like a thousand feet higher than our Airbnb in a really beautiful village. But they were kind of stranded trying to catch the bus and they basically <laughs> at the water experience they told them like oh they could catch a boat up to their B&B but they actually couldn't so we just gave them a ride because that's the Midwestern thing to do and we look out for our fellow New Yorkers. Also oddly enough they're from New York City. Actually, Actually, like born one of them was born from born in New York City and the other was born and raised in Long Island so that was really random but now we're back and we're about to eat so it smells really good in here I'm telling you oh, chef Dindy Le what's this is this bruschetta 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 that was super good The highlight of the trip is honestly this, because it was more of a spontaneous thing. Like we, we figured we would go see the, the Dumo, the cathedral, but the main part of the trip was Lake Como. But the fact that this is only like an hour away from Lake Como, is just mind blowing.
has been in a very long time, but luckily I got home right before the rain. It's such a vibe outside right now. We got about two hours until our guests start arriving. Really excited about this party. Babe, how you feeling? How you feeling? Today is Monday and I'm, I'm starting this video off with a lot of energy and it's because we're going to San Diego. Specifically, Snapdragon is flying us out for a Manchester United game. I'm just so grateful and really excited about this because I've watched some of my other creator friends do these like Snapdragon trips where they go to a Manchester United game and they meet the team and they, they get a chance to step on the pitch. That's what they say, right? The pitch. Also, been really crazy the last like few weeks because we've been to Germany, Italy, and already heading to San Diego like four days later. Authentic content right here. Like look at these clothes behind me that's how busy we've been we've also been making some changes to our bedroom and like bathroom storage which is why you see so many clothes here because we don't have any storage bins to put half these clothes and then also we just honestly just got done washing clothes from our European trip so I don't get it we literally just signed up for TSA pre-check with clear and we got it approved but you have to connect your TSA pre-check account with the flight, which I guess makes sense. But then I tried logging into my account and it didn't work. Even after saving my password, the password didn't save. And then once I logged in, it didn't really know who I was. So I had no ID number or any confirmation number to show the TSA clear agent. Come on, clear, gotta do better. This whole TSA pre-check signing up clear experience has been terrible. Intercontinental hotels are always so nostalgic for me because this was the first hotel chain that I lodged in when I first started traveling for work. And technically it wasn't even for work, but it was for a final round of interviews with Pinterest way back in 2018. And I stayed at the Intercontinental, but also we like staying at the Intercontinental in Berlin. It's really homey, very reliable hotel. But this room is dope. 10th floor, about to check out the views. Let's see, so we got a view of the pool, and dang, you know, I love swimming, and the hotel across the street, pool is still open, but ours closes at 7 p.m., so I don't know when I'll be able to actually swim, but we got a pretty nice view, actually. Oh, we can even see part of the bay or the marina. I'm not exactly sure if it's a bay or marina. Either way, we have a view of the water, a view of the pool, and we also have a nice view of, like, downtown San Diego, and I haven't been here in a long time and I was actually a little impressed by the skyline even coming from New York City. I got up really early this morning made sure I got some good rest so I went to sleep around 10 45 p.m. and I was like I gotta get eight hours. Breakfast is from 7 to 9 a.m. I was freaking out just a little bit because I didn't get a chance to make it to the welcome dinner last night and I didn't want my first impression of being late especially as someone who can be chronically late which is like a new word I heard like maybe like a month ago. Anyways 
I actually wasn't late. And as I anticipated, the breakfast was more of like a optional thing. I met some folks who are part of the Snapdragon Insider team and the social media manager for Snapdragon and uh, a few other creators. So that was cool. But I'm here in a room because my allergies are flaring up and I'm gonna take some allergy medicine. It actually feels kind of good to not be rushing in late. Like I've already had breakfast. I don't have to be back down there for like another 10, 15 minutes. So excited to see what today has in store. Meta glasses. Is it working right now? Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. On a really busy day, we had a team competition where we we're taking our Meta frames and our Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultras, which are powered by a Snapdragon chip, to use, put them to use in real life settings by going around San Diego and basically filming a almost like short story, like a video competition series. And we decided to go with a GTA themed video. So I'm just trying to find a nice room for us to film this introduction scene. And then we might shoot a couple more shots out in the city, but I think the video is coming along really well. Imagine if we were inside this game. So today is the Manchester United event day. Snapdragon is the official sponsor of Manchester United. So we're going to get jerseys with the Snapdragon logo across the Manchester United jersey. So I think these jerseys are coming out today, if I'm not mistaken. Like this is the release day. I didn't go to bed super early around like 11 ish a.m., 11 ish p.m. last night. So I got about six hours of sleep, woke up at like 530. I figured why not get up, work out because our days start early and maybe go running along the pier because I mean, it's gray outside, as you can see, but it's still San Diego, still pretty beautiful and moody to me. And then I might like just go grab a breakfast burrito. But uh, this is probably the only day I'll end up working out because tomorrow I'll probably meet up with my cousin in the morning and get breakfast. Also, by going running, I get a chance to see more of San Diego. And I really enjoy running whenever I visit a different city, a city I don't live in, just to be able to experience that city a bit more like a local. This gym is huge for a hotel. Not even gonna lie right now, this workout is tough. This is the hardest chest workout. Just five minutes, that's all you need. Here. Uh, so we make our way to the museums to do additional You'll never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me, here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. I made another chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone. What's up everyone? So today's Monday and as you can see I'm rocking the uh, USA team Olympics t-shirt. It's actually from Skims. My wife ordered this size small t-shirt that end up really fitting like a men's, I'd even say large, wearing a US Olympic t-shirt and drinking out of a Switzerland cup. To start off my day, I don't have any meetings right now for my nine to five, but I have to work on this concept. So I'm working with Shark Home, really excited about that. We've really been focusing on making high quality tech home setup content to be able to work with brands like Shark and maybe one day work with Dyson. So I'm just wrapping up some small changes to this concept, simultaneously watching other tech YouTubers to think of some video ideas for this coming week.
guys. So, all right, so I just wrapped up the shark home concept and the next couple like work items that I need to complete today is I need to sign this contract for the Nike, basically affiliate program that I've been doing the last like three months. Really excited to announce that I'm doing a second phase of that. It's a really fun, easy like opportunity for me. I wear Nike gear all the time. So it's a really fun way for me to be able to test out different apparel and shoes. So I plan on picking up maybe the Nike Infinity Runs and then also I'm probably gonna pick up another pair of the Vaporfly 3s. All right, so it's about 7.15 p.m. and I'm gonna wrap up working. I've pretty much checked off every to-do list for today. Man, I don't know if it's my allergies or if I have like a cold or something that's been bothering me, but I gotta get this run in. I wanna start out the week right. I noticed that when I start out Mondays with my recovery runs, it's more likely that I'll have a more complete workout regimen throughout the rest of the week. So for about three miles, I, I'm supposed to run just a 5K, but it's kind of a vibe outside. It's kind of moody looking. I haven't really been outside all day. So I might choose to run five miles because Williamsburg, where the waterfront is, is just about like two-ish miles away from our apartment. And sometimes it's hard to turn around when I get to the Williamsburg waterfront because it's just so scenic over there. So what I need to do is I'm gonna grab this S24 Ultra and I'm going to see if I have the Nike Run Club app installed on this device. Device. I do have the Nike Run Club app on my phone, but it's not, for some reason, it's not synced up with my Nike Run Club app on my iPhone, which is weird because I thought it would be based on my account and not on the device. But let me see if this is the same email. It is. Okay. So let me go ahead and switch plans. So luckily it is account based and not based on your device, which makes sense. It just took some moments to sync up for some reason, but it's 7, 18 PM right now. So it's a perfect time to go running. I should be able to wrap up my run around sunset. The only thing I need to check is that when I start my Nike run club recovery run today, that it connects to my pixel watch. So I'm going to click start. I don't know if you can see the watch face. I'm going to click start. and see what happens. Okay. Nothing's happening right now, right? That's interesting. <laughs> All right, so I honestly couldn't figure out how to sync up the S24 Ultra Nike Run Club app with my watch because on the iPhone, all I have to do is start my run on my phone and then it also starts my run on my watch. I don't know, I don't really have time to figure it out right now. I'll look that up later. Not the worst thing in the world. I'll just start the phone and a watch at the same time, but quick fit check. So for the top, we got, this is the Nike Rise 365 men's dry fit tank top. One of my favorite tank tops from Nike, if not my favorite tank top from Nike, they also make the same like style in a short sleeve and I'm pretty sure a long sleeve and I have short sleeves, long sleeve and a tank top. And then these are the Aero Swift running tights. It's only my second time wearing these, but um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, try these out again. I just want to be as light as possible. It's really hot outside. Today was like 90s, mad humid. Like I opened up the window and it's like hot air. It's nothing but hot air. Anywho, that's what I got on. That's the running fit, um, banded, running socks. I think these are like, these are the thicker ones. So I don't know what version these are. And then I'm gonna wear my Mizuno Wave Runner 29s, I think is what they're called. That was my first like, I think I ran about five miles. So it was my first five miles in almost two weeks. And like I said, I've been feeling under the weather. So wasn't the best run. Oh, 5.81 miles at a 12.51 pace. That's what the Nike Run Club app says, but I don't think that was really accurate. I prefer to go to Strava. So Strava said that it was 6.24 miles at a 12 minute, four second pace. It was set 11.45 when I stopped the app downstairs, but now it says 12. But either way, zone two run. Just happy I made it outside. Sometimes it's just good to be able to just check off the workout. That's all that matters sometimes. Oh. 